bio-LPG or renewable propane, which is made from non-fossil sources. So at the moment, that's through the HVO route, so it's a byproduct of the renewable diesel. So that's using all kind of wastes and residues and vegetable oils to produce a bio-LPG, which is called renewable LPG in uh, some markets. That's already available in many markets and is already offering people a drop-in solution for their LPG needs. They have no added costs, they can use the same infrastructure, they can have the same level of safety, the same service agreements that they have already and it just is a way for them to kind of have a drop-in solution but a much lower carbon footprint. Well there's a big push globally I think to start looking at all of the waste that we generate as a society. So that's everything from agricultural residues, manure, municipal solid waste, even the plastic in the oceans, as well as the gases that are emitted from industry. All of that is really rich in hydrocarbons that can be captured and can be used to create products that we can supply to our customers. So that's really, I think, the focus for lots of people. Another area, I think, is, is algae, both micro and macro, has a lot of potential globally. And we really need to just look at what's the best available feedstock, what's the best conversion technology, and then how do we make a product that customers can use at a price that they can afford. DME dimethyl ether is relatively easy to make from a whole load of agricultural residues, wastes, manure, that kind of thing, either through a biogas route, so from anaerobic digestion through to methanol, through to DME, or through gasification, which can also then include um, uh, municipal solid waste and other kind of larger solid waste streams. And that process is proven and currently really being demonstrated at a relatively small scale, but ready for big scale up. So that renewable DME in quantities that will really start to make an impact could be something that we should explore as an industry because all of the properties of DME are not the same as LPG, but they're similar. So if you're looking for an industry who can cope and organize itself to have safe, efficient handling of a product like DME, that's most logical to happen within the LPG industry and offers an immediate kind of carbon footprint saving because it's using those waste products.